What's up guys, welcome to Drink History. We make some of the most classic cocktails, some new classics. We're here over at the counting room in Brooklyn. I'm here with one of my favorite bartenders, John here. You doing? Maybe soon to be favorite. We're gonna mix up some new cocktails. What are we making today? Today we're making an aviation invented by Hugo Enslin in New York. Bam. So we're gonna take two ounces of gin. Nice, okay. I'm usually not a gin guy, but I can try it out. Pour it very carefully. Hey. We're gonna take a half ounce maraschino liqueur. Bam, love my liqueurs, okay. that one we're gonna do a little bit of the creme de violet you 0. said two five ounces this is, this is a rare one this is rare you may not be able to find this it's expensive it's about 40 50 dollars a bottle but you only use a tiny little bit what a, so what type of liqueur is this is this uh so it's violet uh it's made out of violet it's violet hey what are you talking about <laughs> and then we're gonna do seven five point seven five of uh fresh squeezed lemon juice okay Little ice. This is a shaker right here? This is a shaker. It's got the citrus juice in it, so we really want to incorporate that very well. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Pop it open. I love the color that has right there. Double strain into the coop. So what, why do you do the double strain? To reduce the uh, ice shards. Okay. No shards of ice to uh, Water down your drink as you're drinking it. There we go. Finish. Maraschino cherry. Hey, let me let me hit a little bit of this violet. So tell me a little bit of the history of this cocktail right here. So invented in the early 1920s in New York, popularized uh, in the Savoy cocktail book, who actually omitted the creme de violet. Be but because now it's the so rare. Or? Resurgence. Everybody's back into the old liqueurs. They're making it more again. It's more widely available. We've got it here. So we make it the old-fashioned way. Oh, that's awesome. So, like, um, do you think was cocktails a big thing in the night, like in that era, is it or now? Oh, absolutely. I mean, all of all of our current cocktail stuff is really just a big resurgence of prohibition era recipes, ideas, techniques, and then of course people like to, you know, do their own thing. Where now? So I'm Italian. So growing up in an Italian family, we had a lot of liqueurs for like holidays and stuff. Where did like the whole liqueur element come in for the cocktails? It was just like another you know, element to add to it or? Yeah, I mean, it's like anything else. It's like cooking. You've got your main ingredients. Those are your base spirits. You've got your liqueurs. They add a little bit of flavor. You've got your bitters, which are your spices or your seasoning. Yeah. And uh, use all three of them. Make yourself a beautiful drink. Bam. Well, I'm going to go ahead and have myself another one of these. Make sure you guys tune in next week for some drink history. Make sure you all like, share, subscribe. Until next week. Have a good one.